just in mo- as much in me as I am in me, or as, as I am in the I. He's also an I, a person conscious with feelings and desires, and you know, and who's a part of Krishna who should be happy. Uh, he's miserable now. Uh, let me try to help him. That's uh, that's the it's the only move that uh, that preaching can work in and function in. That you really want to. I'm, I want to help that person. Or. Of course, it has to be again done without false ego. Actually, I it's not me, it is. Prabhupada is helping that person. Krishna is helping that person. I'm the instrument. But still, the instrument has to be for, forget about itself and its own desires. So it, has, it has to also, you know, as an instrument, I have to focus my complete attention and concentration on the person who is in front of me and simply act for his, uh, for his benefit. Just like, uh, I mean, the parents learn that very much. Mm-hmm. Parents, they, 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 they learn that's, well, that's why I see it's a, it's a great school to be parents, which I can I can't speak much of because, you know, well, I've been parents for a little bit, almost a short while. But uh, it's actually, uh, Great school in whatever one that might say about uh, you know we have media existence or family life and, and so on and one gets sort of sucked into the very that's a rare little world and, and gets involved with economic development. But one has to learn selflessly. One there's, there's those who are dependent on one and it's all for their benefit. It's actually it's, it's all for their benefit, nothing. Nothing. That's what parents actually they learn. Now it's no longer about me, it's about our children and whatever is best for them. And, uh, and then that's what I want to say if one cannot learn that, if we cannot uh, shift our consciousness, our focus from ourselves as brahmacharis, then we must learn this in, in, in regards to life. But it's, I mean, it's possible. That's why preaching is a fantastic activity. It is such a very we have to learn how to forget ourselves and simply act for the welfare of our sacrifice ourselves, sacrifice this moment, this and this day for the welfare of of others. It's a whole. It's, that's a whole art in in, in preaching and in, in life. It's really. Uh, uh, this, this, this to sacrifice oneself is, 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 is the art of, of life, the art of living, uh, is to sacrifice oneself. Therefore, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, what does Krishna say about sacrifice? He says many things about sacrifice. Um, I should never be given up. That's one thing he says, never be given up. I'm thinking about something else. I'm also not thinking of that. Okay. I'm also not thinking of that, but it's uh, I don't know I don't remember the Sanskrit verse. What do you want to say? Mm, but uh, what, sorry, uh, but it's proving what? About sacrifice. About sacrifice. And happiness. It says very simply, without sacrifice one can never become happy uh, in this life. And this world ought to speak of the next, isn't it? What chapter? What chapter? It's, uh, it's actually, uh, I don't know if it's the only two-line verse in the Bible. It's a two-line verse, not four lines. Third chapter? Could be third, third could be fifth. I'm not sure. Kalim is there, so yeah, without, without sacrifice, there's no question of being happy, either in this life nor in the next. And uh, so this age, of course, Sankirtan Yakya, and it means preaching Krishna consciousness, is the process of self realization. So, unless we really sacrifice uh, our life and our time and energy and this moment and this day for uh, Sankirtan, 
for the benefit of others, we cannot become happy, either, neither in this life nor in the next. Uh, it's not the fifth chapter. It could actually be the fourth chapter.
fantastic. Substantial action, mm -hmm. and if I cannot go back and like give a nice result to my temple authorities, then I become a little despondent, and feel useless. Yeah, and yeah. Huh. I also have uh, that. And uh, I mean, lastly, we want for Christian service. So of course it's, I mean, it, it is, uh, uh, it's not for ourselves, we know for ourselves we don't care, we, we, we will get ours, you know, we are eternal first of all, so we cannot die, so even if we don't have money, then who cares, I mean, I'm still, you know, I cannot 
die. <laughs> I'll go on to the Christmas. Christmas service, Christmas temple, Christmas mission. We need a lot of ask me for, for you know, for, for, to accomplish that. Uh, and one can even get a little fruity and feel frustrated if the result is not there. Um, and we should, in one sense, also be a little frustrated because, I mean, we actually want a result to offer to Krishna. That's part, that's you know, the goal he wants to offer a result for Krishna. So, uh, and if, I mean, if we're not able to generate that, that what well, actually normally able to generate or, you know, by connecting with Krishna is able to be generated, then we feel frustrated. Um, we, uh, but of course, we, we should understand that it's, uh, it's still the byproduct of performing our devotional service. So we should see that, if, for example, if the result is not there, then we should listen, and I'm actually performing my dharma, my devotional service, probably, probably not. And therefore, I have to focus more on that, and then the answer will come as a byproduct. And, and it comes as a byproduct, but still, also, you have to be, you know, you know, that doesn't come like sleeping, but the opportunities definitely offer themselves. And then we have to grab the opportunity. Not that we are different. Someone, you know, you, 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 someone says, I want to buy a book. And then, uh, yeah, then you tell people, yeah, give what you like. You know, see, you know you just give, have a look how much they take. They take out their wallets, of course, nowadays. Sometimes good people still take out their wallets. And, uh, and then they, you know, open and, they, and they, then they start looking in the coins. But then, of course, then at that point, you should be there. And then you should have a big finger down and say, give that big blue one then. Give that one. You do that, isn't it? He just thinks. He doesn't say give that. It's a good one. Yeah, well, he was great. He was hated. He was there. Yeah, well, remember, you know, he has a big nose. So it was kind of a typical thing that people, when they had their wallets out, Gianni's nose was down. And then he said, give one of those red ones there. And, he, and, they were, and it worked because they had never experienced anyone to take out one. And then they said, and he even gave something he could pick out. And I said, I'll take this one. So, uh, so you see, there, there's, uh, you, you can, I mean, it's not that you're, uh, the opportunities are there, you have to have to take the opportunity. Also, you have to that's part of your service like that. But the opportunity comes as a result of actually, you know, doing everything properly, actually that you not you're not really you're not thinking about when you're thinking about you, I want to give this person this knowledge for his sake, he must have the book. He must, you know, it's, it, 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 if, he, if he goes away and doesn't have the book with him. What will you go to this person will continue in suffering and repeated birth and death and must give it to him by all means. That's it. This is, I mean, that's, that's the, you know, the only, that's a thinking we have to have. And that's a normal, a, a, a normal person being a pure yogi. The only, the only normal persons are the pure yogi. So the no, a normal person is is not thinking about himself, he's only thinking about the benefit of others. And uh, and that meditation takes care of everything. Thinking of the benefit of others. It can't be always not benefit. If, if, if you think about some kind of economy, economic development, aside from thinking of the benefit of others, then that's, that becomes a disturbance. When we want economic development for temple, mission, preaching, again, it's not for ourselves. It's a meditation on, on, on the benefit of others. I'm just thinking that, uh, of course, I'm not the count of the Latin here, so I can be detached. Mm -hmm. mm, 
it's always Krishna, he, we know he gives the result. But if you want to challenge that, if you want to challenge it, really, you can walk. And I've had days where I walk around and I don't do anything. <laughs> so then you can see Krishna. If you want to, ins if you insist, I don't think about the result. <laughs> And it doesn't matter whether, uh, yeah. I mean, of course, it's, it's purifying to give everything to the temple. Mm. But still, the, uh, the, uh, our mentality of thinking about material things, it's contaminated. And it can stop you from being, you can give up that color one day. If you maintain that consciousness and you're not just doing your duty. Uh, but it's a tricky thing because if you know that, if you just say, okay, I, anyway, you know the trap, you know, I don't want to think about the results, mm -hmm. then you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Then you're in big trouble. You have to think about the results. But be. It's a bewildering question. It's the result of Krishna. And it's like, because, um, uh, you know, the cook, a mokri, is in the kitchen cooking. And of course, he has to be salt in mind. He has a particular thing I want to make this preparation, that preparation, that preparation to offer to Krishna. The world is just eat. I mean, the cook has a salt in mind. It's not so. But the point is, so so we, it cannot be that we not, do not care about the result. I mean, again, that that's, that's it's just. I mean, that concept doesn't make any sense that we are not endeavor for a particular result. We always do whenever we endeavor. Actually, if you, if you do not, then it's, it's, it's madness and it's ignorance. Mm. So, so the point is, when Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, he also says that one who endeavors for no results, it's in the 12th chapter. It's one of, the, one of those things that the devotee who does not endeavor for a result is very dear to me. Yes. So he is. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Uh, what does he mean? No, but he simply means it's not, it's, he doesn't need it for himself, for himself. He must be like that because it's, you, cannot, you cannot take a step without there's a, some kind of result involved that you want to achieve by your endeavor. If not, then I mean, that's, uh, then you have no intelligence. So, uh, yeah, definitely we want results. But the result is up to Krishna. Nevertheless, we, we only endeavor, uh, like Maharaj Yudhisthira's, uh, Maharaj Yudhisthira's success formula. I mentioned that the other day. Yeah, he has a success formula. Like, uh, you can read books, you know, I know how to be successful in life, and, you know, how to in, in influence people and make friends and like that. So, Maharaj Yudhisthira, he has also a success Formula, the way we say this, you should endeavor. No, in, 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 uh, no. Focus, endeavor, and dependence on the Supreme. You know, in all aspects. If you have to focus you know, on what you're doing, and you have to endeavor, but you have to depend on Krishna at the same time. That is, a, that is, is a, focus means, you know, you know, you have to, you know, you have to be concentrated and you have to do it properly and put all your energy into it. That's another point also, it's, uh, uh, if, you, you know, you know, if you want to do something, then focus and do it properly, otherwise don't do it. I mean, one has to, uh, so, sometimes you do things that, you know, we do mechanically or uh, not really, really you know, kind of, we do it but we don't do it properly. Uh, but what, then you can say, why? I mean, one, one should ask oneself, if it's worth doing, then it's worth doing it properly. And if, if it's not worth doing properly, then it's not worth doing it. So once you can develop the habit, either one does it properly, and if it's not worth doing properly, then it's worth not worth doing it, then don't do it. Vaisheshika okay. Prabhu, he says, four rules. A focus solution, and I always I come back to that when I'm in trouble and I'm prudent. Then I meditate on the first two rules. The first first rule is that you give a good impression. 
Second rule is that you have to become purified by the activity, and that's guaranteed. And the third rule is that we distribute ropes. And the four, fourth rule is that we do quantities of ropes and money. Mm -hmm. So the, the quantities, actually, that's number four. Good impression is number one. Good impression is number one, and purification is number two. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's really what Krishna wants. Yeah. And then he gives the result of coming. I mean, you know, sometimes you uh, you don't do anything and then you can see Krishna immediately he shows you, oh, you should not be nice to people. Because they're telling you better is low. So then immediately you can oh Krishna and I really want to work there. In my attitude. Even when I don't want to have the attitude. Because that's the attitude that makes you fruit or miserable. Enough talk. Yeah. Now we have to do it. Four hours to pass the ocean line. Hi, Chris. 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 Hi,